Hi, I'm Vic Campbell and I'm speaking with uh, Steve Johnson and Stephen Rowe from the band Light Force. Stephen, tell us something briefly about how Light Force formed. Well, it formed, a, I had a vision for a, a Christian heavy metal band about three years ago after um, hearing this, the start of the Christian metal scene with Resurrection Band and Barnabas and bands like that. And it took uh, quite a few years, three and all, to actually get something that was a um, reasonable sounding band. I went through quite a few lineup changes and things. And then in the last year or so, I've got together with Steve, the singer, and, and um, Cameron and Errol, the other two in the band, and we've got something that's happening. And Steve, what sort of people do you see coming to your concerts? Um, a really wide variety of people come, Vic. It's uh, a lot of Christian kids support us. Um, we also, it depends basically what kind of a venue we play in. If we play in a, in a pub, it's, um, there's more non-Christian people there, people that are just off the street and, you know, come to pubs normally to see bands and, um, but we do have, we're steadily building up a, a following of people that'll come and support us at our concerts no matter where we play and uh, be there on hand to help us out, you know, it's really good. And Light Force have had some success in uh, talent quests, I believe. That's right, we, we ended a talent quest here in, in Melbourne, which was for heavy metal bands, and we competed against a few of the secular bands here, which we didn't know how we'd go because we were a Christian band, we didn't know what sort of reaction we'd get. That was actually our first concert that was, that was outside the Christian organisation and we went down really well and we, we scored very well on presentation and, and, uh, and our music and we, we came out winners which has paved the way to, to a lot of the concerts in the secular venues such as Bell Street Rock which with the um, quite big Australian uh, heavy metal bands such as Taramis mm. and SAS and those sort of bands so we have for the amount of time we've been together done um, you know been accepted quite well and gone quite a fair way compared to um, uh, most other metal bands that have been together a year. So Light Force has been fairly well accepted in the secular scene. What about from Christians? What sort of response do you find yourselves getting? Uh, well the church at, at first weren't really sure of what we were doing and there was a bit of a um, sort of a tension there we could tell. Not openly against us but we knew that they were a bit unsure. Um, our church, Harvest Christian Centre, is right behind our ministry. They support us wherever they can, in whatever way, with like discipling us to make sure we're right. And um, but I, every day, I suppose the, it's the the pressure's easing off, and people are realising that that there is fruit coming from our ministry, and people are getting reached. Um, so it's basically from the beginning when it was a bit bit tense and they, they weren't sure of us now things are really opening up and God's really opening the doors up for us there was an album Battle Zone recorded and released on cassette and I believe it's been very well received around Australia tell us something about the Battle Zone recording right the, the Battle Zone um, album has been received quite well within the Christian scene and within the secular scene I think we've sold about 300 in all which is fairly good mm. and the um, the heavy metal shop in the city has sold quite a number of copies and we sold um, over 40 in one concert last week in Sydney. Um, so yes, it's, it's been received quite well. Um, we're going to be reviewed in, in magazines in America and over in Germany very shortly and we should be getting some mail orders so we're looking forward to that. We're probably going to have to do a, a reissue of it. And yes, it's been generally accepted very well by the, the, the Christian scene and by the heavy metal scene. Every, wherever, wherever we're sending it and wherever it can be distributed to. Mm. So what does the future hold for Light Force? <laughs> well, basically, we, we want to um, see if we can get a record deal somewhere. Um, we're not exactly sure where that is yet. We're getting distributed by David Smallbone. Um, our tape is Australia-wide at the moment. And hopefully we're going to look at getting on one of the Christian labels like Pure Metal Records or maybe Frontline Records. Or if the secular scene is open to it, maybe um, Metal Blade or one of the the um, labels over in um, America or Germany. Australian metal is really taking off um, two uh, bands, one band from Melbourne, Taramis, and a band from Sydney, Mortal Sin, are on very big labels overseas, so who knows, if we keep heading in the right direction, we may eventually be able to get on a label over there. Yeah. All right, mm. thanks guys, all the best. That was uh, Stephen Rowe, bass player from Light Force, and vocalist Steve Johnson.